looking at mitosis and the stage of the mitosis. So I'll, I'll do this in a couple of minutes. First step is remember what you have is you have sperm, and that had a chromosome in it, mm -hmm. and that met an egg which had a chromosome in it. Yeah. Now these two are both N and N cells. Mm -hmm. Now these are both known as being haploids. So these are gametes, and the gametes are sperm, egg, or pollen if you're a plant. Mm -hmm. and this is also a haploid. Now this is a haploid cell where N equals one. Therefore, in the diploid cell, the diploid cell will be the result of two haploid cells joining together. And this gives us a diploid cell that contains a red chromosome and a blue chromosome. Now, these, this is a homologous pair of chromosomes. They contain the same um, genes in the same order. They're known as homologous and they form a homologous pair. Now, this is a, then a 2M, or diploid cell, and here, 2N equals two. Now, you went from being a single fertilized cell like this, where there were 23 chromosomes from the dad, and 23 chromosomes from the mum, came together, fused, produced a single 2N cell. Mm -hmm. That single 2N cell then had to grow. Now, if you refer to growth as being linked to mitosis, it's growth of the organism. It's not growth of the cell, it's growth of the organism. Or it's okay. repair of a tissue. You never just write growth or repair. Okay. If you ask for functions, it's growth of organisms, okay. repairs of tissue such as muscle or bee specific. Mm -hmm. Asexual reproduction in plants is another good one to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Now the first step um, is to remember the phases. And the phases go, replicate the DNA mm -hmm. and the organelles mm -hmm. and make more cytoplasm. And that's, and that's interphase. Mm -hmm. The next thing is condense the chromosomes. That's prophase. Mm -hmm. The next one's line up on the middle. Yeah. That's metaphase. Next bit is pull the two chromatids apart. Mm -hmm. That's anaphase. And the next one after that is telophase. So you have interphase. This is where you do DNA replication, enzyme synthesis, organelle synthesis, make more cytoplasm. Then you have prophase. This is where the chromosomes appear, and P is for appear, so they appear because they condense. Interphase, prophase. Now, a nucleus in interphase looks like this. It's untangled because it's being semi-conservatively replicated. In prophase, that's where you see the appearance of the chromosomes, and they look like this. This is because they are a semi-conservatively copied one of each other, held together by a synchromere. Mm -hmm. So, confusing bit of biology that actually makes sense. This is a chromosome. Yeah. <laughs> this is a chromosome. This is a chromosome. Mm -hmm. This is a chromosome. Mm -hmm. This chromosome is made of two chromatids yeah. joined together by a centromere. Mm -hmm. This is a chromosome. The reason for this is that when you have semi-conservatively replicated this to produce this, mm -hmm. you have semi-conservatively replicated it so the information has remained the same. Because you pulled one strand apart and you brought in nucle two nucleus, you brought in new nucleotides. So you've doubled the quantity of DNA, but the amount of information has remained the same. Okay. The amount of uh, number of alleles has remained the same. Now, that's prophase. The next phase, metaphase. And in metaphase, the chromosomes line up on the middle. So we had interphase where they rep 
where the DNA replicates yeah. and the organelles replicate and the cytoplasm grows. We had prophase where they appear, p appear. Mm-hmm. Metaphase when they line up on the middle. M is for the middle. Next phase. So in anaphase, the spindle fibres grow out from the centrioles. So the spindle fibres here are the four bits of protein. And they grow out from the centrioles and they join onto the centromeres, which are the blobs holding the two chromatids together. Mm-hmm. Then these spindle fibres shorten and they pull apart the um, chromatids in anaphase. So in anaphase is the step where they get pulled apart. So this is early anaphase. Now remember the confusing point is that this is a continuous process. So we're artificially dividing prophase into metaphase to anaphase. So anaphase, they've joined together, so this could be really, really early, early anaphase or really late metaphase. The next step, so the next step is that it carries on with anaphase and then it starts to form telophase. Now telophase occurs after anaphase and in telophase we start to see a new nuclear membrane forming around both of these two. So... So at the end of two telophase, it will have two new nuclear membranes forming around the um, each two chromosomes. Mm-hmm. Now, what these are then is that this this is these are then two um, two n cells where two n equals two. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen next is that this is going to then break off, and the cell is going to break in two, forming cytokinesis, mm-hmm. forming two complete new cells, each of which contain two chromosomes. Okay. So what we've gone from here, remember, is we've gone from a two haploid cells, which are N and N, and we've gone N plus N, giving us two N. We've then carried that interphase, which has doubled the quantity of DNA, but the number of chromosomes has remained the same. Because remember, the chromosome went from being like this to being semi-conservatively copied to produce this. Mm -hmm. So between this phase to here, the number of chromosomes has stayed the same, but the quantity of DNA has doubled. So the next story is about how you take that, line them up in metaphase, join on the spindle fibres, pull the chromatids apart, Mm-hmm. breaking the centromeres, and then you separate them into two. So, we started off with a cell with two chromosomes in it, mm-hmm. and we've ended up with two cells with two chromosomes in it. Mm-hmm. So we've gone from a 2N cell to two 2N two cells. Okay. Because we've replicated each chromosome mm-hmm. into two chromatids forming a chromosome, and then we pull them apart to give you to go back to being diploid. And what we've produced is two genetically identical cells. And that's mitosis.